In this video, I will show you the top websites, in my opinion, for 3D artists, for help and inspiration. So uh, let's start off by taking a look at Google Arts and Culture. And as you can see, you can very easily choose what art movement or a time period you want to uh, look at. Then you can uh, select the category and then you can sort by time or by color, which enables you to get a lot of inspiration. You can also choose by the material. So for example, wooden objects. And when you go in to the images, you can see that it's very high resolution. They make sure to take high resolution pictures of all of these pieces of art. So let's take a look at this one, for example. And when you zoom in, you can see all of the details. So Google Arts and Culture is great both for references and for some general inspiration. And then next, we're of course going to look at ArtStation, which has a lot of different portfolios from uh, various professionals in the uh, 3D industry. So you can take a look at a lot of work and you can also apply for work if you have the talent to work in the business. You can see from all of the major companies. Another website which is great for getting some inspiration is of course Instagram, which has a lot of different 3D artists and a great way to get some inspiration and discover new people is to go to your favorite artists on Instagram and see who they follow and follow those people as well. And the next, we of course have Discord, which is great for asking questions about 3D. And Stack Exchange is also great when you have some uh, questions for your uh, 3D work. Another great website for 3D art is Reddit. And my favorite subreddit in terms of uh, 3D art is of course the simulated subreddit, which has a lot of uh, cool physics simulations. And if you want to get some cool color palettes to use in your scenes, I recommend using Adobe Color, which is free. And then set up the uh, colors you like with the different combinations. You can just save the color palette and then import the image into your 3D software. And then Polyhaven is great if you want free HDRIs, textures and models. I use this a lot for my tutorials. And then we also have the free textures. Many of them are in 8K and you can feel free to use the models, the textures and the HDRIs because they are under the Creative Commons license. And if you want even more free 3D models, make sure to check out my other video on my YouTube channel on that exact topic.